Okay, I'm going to show you everything that comes with the uh, Inspiration Classic Rebreather. Here's the, I've torn it all apart so we can see all the pieces. Here's the uh, case of, of course, the famous yellow box. Okay, and this opens up with these clips right here. And all these clips look good, no cracks or anything. They seem to be attached and functioning just fine. Okay, so we'll open this up. And you can see on the inside, there's a manifold. And the manifold has a little adapter here with a swivel. There's an extra one of these put on, and it leaves a couple of empty holes in case you want to put a couple extra hoses in there for I don't know what. The regulators, you know, I believe these are Apex 50s that come with the uh, Inspiration, but they look in great shape, no corrosion or anything. They're looking good, and there's the hoses, and those all look clean. Clean and nice, and of course, there's a weight and trim pocket on the top of this. So you can uh, put some weight in there, trim yourself out. A lot of people like to put weight toward the top of their kit. Of course, all the hoses are here to plug into your ad valves, uh, into your BC, and there's the SPGs, one for oxygen, one for diluent, and they're you know, colored so you can tell which is which from the color if that's what you want to do. And now I'll put this aside. Here's the canister. It looks in great shape. I don't see any cracks or, or breaks anywhere in the canister. There's, screws don't seem stripped or anything. It looks in uh, just fine condition. Uh, there's the spacer inside. I feel no nicks when I run my hand around like this. Feels nice and smooth. So one of the things you want to look for is nicks on the uh, spacer, which could go into the O-ring. Here's the O-ring. It's clean and uncracked. In fact, it feels lubed with crystal lube. I can feel a little crystal lube on there. Fits in there nice and tidy and neat. Looks good. Inside, here's where you put the scrubber material. It's got the scrim on top and bottom, which is white and clean. Uh, you're gonna see all kinds of extras, including extra scrim in a minute here, but uh, this scrim looks pretty good. The, ball, the screw action here is smooth. Springs look great, no corrosion, anything, no cracks. You know, sometimes if you screw this thing down too tight, you can crack the top of this. No one's done that. That looks in excellent condition. So I'll put this aside now. Oh, and of course, there's extras of these too, but here's the four bolts that screw in on top and they all screw in gently and easily. Here are the tanks. Here's an oxygen tank. Uh, valve looks clean and in good condition, no corrosion. Action on it is awesome. Put some O2 in there uh, so we can test the sensors a little bit. Uh, it's out of hydro and out of viz. Just barely out of hydro by a couple of months here, so you'll have to have it hydroed. Here's the dill tank, the diluent. They're both marked, of course. This valve, again, also seems great action. Everything seems good. I put some air in here just for testing purposes. Also out of, out of is and hydro, so you'll need to do that. Of course, here are the standard hoses, the uh, exhale and inhale hoses. This direction. Again, all the O-rings and all the hoses, I don't know if you can see here, in fact, it looks like you put, in my opinion, a little too much crystal lube on there because I can actually see it, put a little bit on my finger, but you can see these have all been freshly lubed and look in excellent shape. I was told that the uh, original owner of this kit changed all the O-rings before he sold it. So uh, from what I'm told, these O-rings have never seen a dive. They're all brand new. Okay, and these look in great shape. They've got these little protector covers on there, some people like, and they're all clean and looking good. Mouthpiece hose, mouthpiece, nice wide opening here. The action on the uh, open and close, smooth and easy. And I uh, did a test on the mushroom valves in there. <laughs> that one's not, not letting me blow any air in there, so that's working perfectly. Let's try this one. <laughs> Can't suck that one. So the test is great. Mushroom valves look good. There's some extras of those too, though. So there's the mouthpiece assembly section. And uh, here's the harness, standard harness. Now this kit is set up to take a standard back plate and that's what I use and that's what a lot of people like, but a lot of people still like the harness and that's coming with it right here. And this is a, an extra large harness. Okay, I am uh, six foot tall and weigh about 188 pounds and uh, this fits me just fine. So here's the harness, everything's on here, all the O-rings and stuff. You know, on mine, I cut all that junk off when I first got mine before I switched to a backplate, but 
This person hasn't. They've left everything on here. So it's in original condition. Looking good. And here's the BC. And uh, this is a, I believe this is a medium BC. I think it's just the standard size BC. And uh, it, of course it comes with the extra bailout regulator here. It's actually a Sequest uh, second stage regulator for bailout. And uh, we'll do a little test of that once we hook all this up. There's a BC. Everything working and in good condition. And here's your lungs. These are medium lungs, which is uh, seems to be the most popular one, medium lungs. Okay, and what's cool about these is uh, whoever the original owner was, he had the quick disconnects put on. Ah, that was stitched on, done a great job cutting and and uh, re-sewing these so they look like uh, they were came from the factory that way. And this is great, so you can take these things off and clean them easily. Okay, so here's your two lungs. Everything looks in good shape. The dill, diluent and oxygen add valves are working smooth and easy. I've unscrewed these and taken them off and checked them out. They look good. This is your dump valve. That looks good. Uh, you're actually looking at it backwards. It, it really goes like this. And this is your overinflation valve and it turns like that. Okay, so that's all looking good. Uh, of course, it comes with the ADV automatic add valve and we'll do a test of that too. And it's got a shut off switch on or off so you have a choice whether you want this on or off again everything is all lubed up i can see crystal lube everywhere in this thing so it's just been recently all the o-rings and everything replaced and uh, crystal lube so it's looking good and now the head does not come with the standard head it's been upgraded to a jurgensen marine hammerhead okay here's the hammerhead and the cool thing about this top too is it has the uh the fitting already, if you want to add a fourth cell, if you want to use a Surewater uh, computer and add a fourth cell or something, you can do that right here. So that's ready to go. These oxygen sensors, um, my friend who's selling this, who bought this a year ago, uh, he put these in brand new and they've been sitting in the garage sealed in this kit for a year. And so we're gonna do a little test on those and see what the millivolts are and how good those are. But looking at all the gold connections here on the inside, that's pretty important stuff. They all look clean and perfect. All these gold things, no corrosion at all. Everything is lubed up real nice. So, I mean, it looks like brand new in there. Very well taken care of, looking good. So we'll do a test of all that in a little bit here. Same thing with this O-ring, it's clean. So ring up here, no cuts, no nicks that I can feel in it. It's recently been lubed. The, uh, he's got the uh, computers of the bricks, as they call them, in these protective uh, excess scuba protectors here. So that's pretty nice, that'll come with it. And here's the hammerhead bricks. And when we assemble this thing, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and take a look at what version the software is and how it's working and, and how these computers are functioning and they're in excellent, perfect condition. And, We'll show you the software version and everything. Of course, it comes with a HUD, a heads-up display. I like the little hose that they've cut here to, to fire this light right at you and just kind of shield it for when you're in shallow or bright water. And that hits on the hose and pokes in your eye, and we're going to test that too. That's looking good. And uh, there's a lot, just a ton of extras that comes with this kit. I'm going to show you those right now.